to say. I guess if I was sitting in my mom's house right now, I would have to say I wouldn't be shooting this video right now. I'm getting restless. Not too restless, but I'm starting to I feel like I'm gonna I don't know, trip out internally and go crazy. I don't feel like sitting here like this. I'm just trying to lighten the load and release the pressure. I mean, I ain't tripping out, going psycho or nothing. I'm just saying, I'm like a busybody. I gotta find something to do. I'm like a busybody, man. It's like, I gotta have some kind of physical activity to do because I'm, like, I'm getting too. Because um, I'm one of them energetic types. I can't. Oh, look at this shit. Hold on for a second. I'm sorry, man. My mom just called me on the phone. She's gonna have to wait. Let me just shoot this video real quick and get it out of the way. She already know I got her car. It's just that. What the hell is this shit? Man, excuse me for a minute. The lady over here running her mouth. I can't stand it. Damn. Friggin' time I just be shooting a video, I be getting disturbed. Like a curse, man. Like I was saying. Them niggas right there in the car, that Dodge Charger, they look like the real killers, man. <laughs> nah, I'm telling you, I could tell by the physical profile. What I just saw right here, passing through Thomasville, ain't no joke. That's the very thing that would kill your ass in a drive-by. I guess they were just... Maybe they're all right. They might be normal when I'm around, but I don't know. They just scared the hell out of me. They don't look too normal. They look like they come from the crib. Damn, boy, I say... <laughs> Anyway, I never see nothing. Them people out here don't look like the type, but I just saw something that didn't look so normal. It probably coming up from the spot where I was from, um, near my mom's house. Anyway, um, man, I don't like, I don't really shouldn't be out here. I ain't supposed to be out here. I just have to be out the house because um, they're doing some kind of routine inspection on an apartment plus I had all my stuff in the way and stuff like that you know so that's why mom been having me doing this like years ago since what 2017 all the way to 2019 so it's been this way no it's been that way before but nowadays like in 23, 22, not really. But it only happened like twice between the um, beginning of this year and now. So since they got to inspect the apartment, I need, I need my privacy and all that. That's it. It's better if I come out here. Oh, yeah. My reason for being out here right now, I got my MVR reports, two of them. Um, I don't know if it's okay for me. To, that's the reason why I came down here in Thomasville because... Um, I had to go to the DPS, the DPS office, is that what they call it? The DDP. I had to go to the driver's license office. I just went to the driver's license office. I took a look at my MVR report. I couldn't understand it. So I had to go back in line and go up, go back up to the, the cashier window in lane number one. And me and the cashier had a long talk. So I said, I'm looking for the MVR report that shows number of accidents, number of speeding, number of, uh, what is it, uh, reckless or incidents, you know what I'm saying, the regular thing. But what they gave me, it only shows something like the, what do you call it? I forgot the name of the thing. It only shows like... Uh, the inspection violation, like failure to wear equipment or whatever the hell that is. 
the part where I got pulled over in Pennsylvania when I had X amount of log violations, like out of service violations. Yeah, it shows that and all kinds of the confusing crap that I couldn't understand. And it's not the regular um, MVR report or whatever. But I don't know. I, I said, man, did you all change the technology? I mean, did you all change the way you all do things? Because it doesn't look the same. I said, I'm, I'm asking for the one that I asked for. All right. She, she said, maybe it's a seven-year period that I, I was looking at. All right. I said, go ahead. Give it a try. And she said, it costs $8. Though. All right. So I had to pay $8 more. Dollars. I paid $6 for the three-year. So I paid $8 for the seven-year. I paid the $8 and the $6. It still looks the same. I said maybe it's individual or employer. I did buy the employer and I tried individual. Yes, it still looks exactly the same. They must have changed it. They must have, you know what? While the other one there was talking to me, she didn't realize, she don't understand what I'm talking about. It seemed like they changed the technology, not technology, they changed the style of the MVR report, the way they do things. They must have changed it, but they don't remember what happened. They don't remember that they did change it. They're sticking to the old, they're sticking to the new stuff. They're, they're, not, they're not thinking about the old fashioned way like when I was last up in there. Like when I was um, right after Western Express terminated me, somewhere about December or November of 22, I think it was probably in 22. I had me an MVR report that looked regular. But now, the second time, I went back for two more MVRs and they looked different. So, this is the good news she told me. It did look like crap in the worst way. I don't like it. I don't like the way they do things. But, anyways, they told me the good news. She said, the cashier at the window said, um, what did she say? Uh, yeah, she put her finger on the paper and said, um, all of those moving violations from the last seven years, she said it fell off, and it, and I got zero zero points. I said, really? I you see, I had to go over it like two more times, you know, because I wasn't too sure if I really, you know, I know I know I heard what I heard, I heard what she said, but I'm not sure if I really understood what she said. I had to make sure I didn't misunderstand anything. And she said, um, any moving violations, not only in three years, even though, yeah, last year in 22, right after Western Express fired me, yes, I had zero violations, moving accidents and all, except the CSA points and the, dang, I forgot the name of the other report. T, what do you call it, TSA? TNA, I don't know, whatever they call it. Um, that's the one, that's a separate move, that's a separate um, uh, report form that shows log violations, inspection violations, uh, what else, seat belt, that kind of stuff. But I'm talking about a different moving violation, something like a regular MVR report. But anyways, Whatever happened three years before I started working for Western Express in October of 2019, before I started working for them three years ago, and I stuck with them three years straight. Before that, I'm talking about any other job or company, any other, any other moving violation in my personal car, like the rental car, or my mom's car, which whichever one. She said if. She said it all fell off. It's the one that I got. It was a moving violation driving a rental car to the courthouse for some kind of incident. Way back in 18, I had to go to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And then I came back up. When I came back up, I was speeding very fast, right to the construction zone. Yes, that one, my cousin gave me $500 to clear that. I guess it, you might as well say you, it's not going to show up because he, he um, I think, I think he went to court with it over the phone. That's the reason why it didn't show up. 
I'm over here thinking it's, it was there anyway, so I forgot. Yeah, he gave me $500, and I knocked that one out. I forgot. Anyways, anything seven years back, like maybe 2015, 16, um, it fell off. But I don't know. Them extra two felonies that I had way back then, I'm not so sure. I'm thinking that they're staying there forever. That, those are my first two felonies in my entire history. I didn't have no drugs or nothing. I just had some kind of aggravated battery and something else. That's it. But anyways, um, all I gotta say is, if you wanna sit your ass right in front of this fucking car, go ahead. You're being videotaped right now. So you, you better not look like a damn fool. It ain't my fault. You the one that put your ass there. <laughs> you looking confused like you can't make up his mind. Yo, man, if an incident break out, I'm not going to stop it. I got a right to an authority. You keep shooting it. Anyways, um, you know what? Maybe I better pull it out, man. I don't know. Yeah, here it is. Before I go diving in, I'll go ahead and put it right here. I don't want my personal belongings being exposed. So, I'm gonna turn the page and bend it forward. I'm gonna fold half of it. Just give me a couple of seconds. I'll be right there. Good, I think I did it. All right. Um, let me double check. Let me double check. Non-accepted interstate, all right, Shane. Examiner, oh, okay. All right, so far, medical examination registry number. I don't know if I want to hide that, but anyway. This is what it looks like. The part that I'm talking about, this position. Yo, man, this thing is blurry. I can't put it over in the sunlight if I could find it. Oh, shit. I can't find it now. Hmm. Alright, here it is. Yo, man, this thing looks blurry. There's something wrong with it. This cell phone got X amount of crap. No, it's the technology that's throwing it. It's blurred, man. I can't do nothing about it. Oh, shit. No, it's there. No, it's not. No, it is. Well, that's one part. This is the next. Uh, the part, the next part that says zero. No, this ain't it. I'm looking at the three here. Hold up, let me go look at the other one. Same thing. Alright, that's it. I got class AM. I got tanker endorsement, but I'm not using it. I'm not using tanker. I don't know what I don't know who slapped it on there or, or what happened. I don't recall that. But anyways. Limited permit, any current points zero. Original issue date 16 November 17th. Well, I actually had me another license before that, but that's that's not gonna count. I had a Florida license, but that, that's done. January 24 expiration. Well, zero there and zero over here. Uh, I guess that's it. It's MVR report scanner. Very unusual. You know, let me tell you this, man. I feel kind of unsatisfied. I'm not too impressed. I don't know. Maybe I did say the wrong thing out of my mouth, man, because 
my M, my my first my last what do you call it my MVR b b uh, report before that didn't look like that. I really I'm not too sure about what that one is saying, but if she said that's what it is, I guess I can't do nothing about it. Then I can't do nothing about it. If they change the style, they change the style and the technology, the way they do things. I guess that's it. But the other one was more easier to read. I just can't. That one, that one doesn't really convince me. But I guess if I want to show it to the employer, of course my medical certificate's up to date and the MVR is zero points. And not only that, she didn't. Ju it, it wasn't just me doing an MVR report last year in 22 when it was uh, zero, right after Western Express terminated me. I immediately went to the driver's license office probably within the same month. And then I got an MVR report and it's zero moving violations except the CSA points is not clean or the TSA points or, what, or the TSA history, whatever they call it. But other than that, she said anything past the three years going back actually fell off. That's the good part. The only problem is um, I'm still struggling to get one of them European jobs. That lady at the driver license office said, why do you want to get a European job? Because I can't stand the American fucking truck driving companies. That's what I told her. So she just laughed at it and take it as a joke. But anyway, I don't care. I'm, I'm going my own direction. Sooner or later, if you ever see me driving this private truck that's so old, well, not too old, but it might be an 05 or a 07, maybe a 98. I'm just fantasizing that it might be a Volvo. It usually could be it could be a cascadia i don't know it could be a cascadia or a volvo i don't think i want to touch a century i'm not i'm not saying i'm gonna stick to that hell no i don't like nothing that old i'm just trying to go own authority so fast all right one last thing i don't feel like staying on this phone because i'm thinking the reason why my mom called is because she's trying to tell me that the inspection people already came and it's time it's okay for me to come back in now and have the place to myself. All right, that's what she usually do. They probably showed up already because it's past 11 o'clock. So anyway, all I got to say is, um, yes, uh, man, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I had something to say before I end this. I don't know if I can remember. I got distracted. I wasn't even paying attention. I think I better dive up in that store and get some eggs. And then after that, what next? Uh, oh, yeah. I gotta get some lemonade or something. There ain't nothing in the refrigerator. Eggs, some kind of juice, lemonade. What else? I already bought carrots yesterday. What else I gotta get? Uh, damn, I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, something else I had in mind. Oh yeah, this is this is it. Um, that thought about me posting on the website on Craigslist, it's got a picture of Western Express truck on there, the, the one I was lease purchasing, one 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 oh seven. Yeah, when I posted that truck on Craigslist along with my um, information, I did mention something about barring a rental truck well I'm, I scratched that out I got something much better in mind you see it's like my knowledge and intelligence has just kind of increased little by little there ain't nothing wrong with going in the wrong direction for a change but I got something that's better in mind even though I got them three minor strikes them petty strikes that don't mean nothing but that last job that was supposed to get me a truck. I wasn't going to buy theirs either. That last job was to get me a cheap truck. Any other job coming up, whatever it is, I'm using that to buy a cheap truck. The LLC, the LLC um, in the system that I once had, I had to cancel it to get my refund. Yes, I got that taken care of. I will deal with that next. And third, um, yeah, barring the rental truck, number one, canceling the LLC because I'm not ready, number two. And third, 
get the truck first. I don't give a shit which dumbass. I know I know who it is. I know who it is in the background that's gonna say something. But anyways, I'm getting the truck first with the insurance, of course. And then number two, I will. That's if I get a job first, though. Get the job first, then save up, get the truck. Two, number three, get the LLC rolling. Number four, um, buy the authority package. Pay for the authority package, the 800, the 899 package. That's four things right there. I guess this what? The comp company position truck job, 1099 style. I'm talking about European or foreign. All right, let me start over. 1099 company job, uh, company truck job. Um, buying a cheap tractor, buying a cheap semi tractor by itself. Number three, open up, reopen the LLC again. Number four, oh yeah, of course, get the insurance. Not number four, open up the LLC again. Number five, uh, pay for the authority package, buy the authority package so I can write down the information, the insurance, the LLC number, and all of that stuff, and pay for the $899. That's the biggest size ever. The 24,000 pound, that's the $699 package. I don't want the 24, I want the full size. So that's five things, five processes I got to go through. Instead of going the wrong way, that's the right way for now. The wrong way is, all right, the right way would be start getting a job, a truck job. The wrong way is using, no, renting a truck. Renting a truck. And then third, getting an insurance for it. That's pure hell. I'm shoving I'm shoving money in somebody else's pocket unnecessary. Getting insurance for their truck that I'm renting, bullshit. Number four, buying the LLC, reinstating the LLC and paying for the authority package, you might say that's there's nothing wrong with that. That's okay, them two is okay. The two the other two right here, that's wrong. The first one, yeah, that's right. So you're looking at one two three things that's okay the middle part is wrong totally wrong yeah but them three things are not gonna fall into place without me doing it my way so it's more like the company the company 1099 style job comes first then the truck comes next I'm talking about my personal truck not a rental truck and then third the insurance for it then fourth the LLC and then six no five it's gonna be a uh, yeah pay for the package pay for the authority package and then six which probably I didn't mention I just quit the job quit the job and go in my own direction or maybe six s stick with a company 1099 job for a while extra and cover my ass and knock out the alternators and starters and refresh the truck a little bit and then I'll take a chance to go by myself. Maybe it would be a better idea if I buy another used truck, but I'll say, you know what? Hurry up, hurry up, lickety split, lickety split and dive into a brand new 2025 Cascadia, which does not exist yet. I said to myself, hold off on the 24. Don't go after the 24. Start with a 25. If you're not qualified, if I'm not qualified for the 25 for whatever reason, hang out with the 24 for a while, but switch into a 25. I want something fresh. I want the best out of life. So in the meantime, you know I, I might as well chase after something like a 98 Volvo, a 2005 Volvo, maybe a 97 Cascadia. No, not a 97. Cascadia is only existing. More anything like a 2015 cascadia or maybe a 19 i don't know whatever i could get my hands on and that's it all right i've been on this phone kind of long enough
that's that's the last part i was trying to tell you all right if i got anything else to say i'll go ahead and let you know